Happy hair, where have you buried all your children? Tell me so I say. A song been in my head since this morning. I listened to that song this morning. It's been stuck in my head. It's a deal, deal to you, family. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm going to have to hire a designer. I'll try to design some shirts today. I'm not good at it. <laughs> That's not my forte designing clothes. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make a designer, man. Let me help you know how to design shirts. Um, subscribe to the Patreon. Link is in the description box. Also support the channel. My support hitting the cash app. Link is in the description box as well. Support the boy with McLean. We working. We working. We working. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is going to be my 9-11 blog. It's most important, one of the most important days of my life. If you were a 90s baby, you know how serious this day was. You know what I'm saying? I remember when it happened. God bring you back, guys. Bring it back, 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 way back to 2001. Way PAT, he ain't even had a son. Back in 2001, I ain't have a gun. I was in the class and the boy was about to run. That's me acting like Gucci. Anyways, 2001, I'm in fifth grade, I'm in Ms. Baker's class. Ms. Baker was a mean fifth grade teacher. She was a mean. She had a little mole and a jury curl. Four, five foot one lady. Ms. Baker was wild, man. She was not attractive. Um, all I know is it's about 12 in the afternoon. One, we just got to do a recess. They come in storming in the classroom. And they talking about turning the news on, turning the news on. And they're attacking the towers. Turn the news on. I see the towers falling. I start crying immediately and I get scared. I'm scared the whole bus ride home. I was a little chicken when I was a kid. I admit, I was a chicken. Um, dude was a chicken when I was a kid, man. It happens. Yeah, I was a chicken. It happens. But, um, oh man, hold on, let me get this right. All right, so I was a little chicken when I was a kid. It happens. So, planes, planes hit the buildings and we go home. I'm scared. We're like, what's going on? 9 11 was the first time. What was the first time? They've been they always use catastrophic events to make changes. They use Pearl Harbor as a way to go into war. 9-11 was a way to be a catalyst so we can go into war. So we can start getting uh more of the resources from Saudi Arabia, not Saudi Arabia from Iraq. Rumor had it that there's a Stargate and Giants in Iraq. That's what we went to investigate. Osama bin Laden was a CIA agent. He was not uh, the, big, the, big, the big bad. He wasn't a boogeyman. He was actually a CIA agent that we brought up. The CIA also helped create ISIS, Al-Qaeda. They funded those organizations. The CIA is behind so much stuff, man. It's crazy. I would love, I would love to be, be in the CIA and learn how it is, man. Just being the guy behind the scenes and learn about all the wild, crooked stuff they're doing. Because they was behind the crack epidemic in the 80s, funding all types of wars. So for a war to happen, you need a, the America's approval. So when a 9-11 happened and it seemed like these guys hijacked some planes, knocked these buildings down, it gave America ammunition to take down or you know, to go to war. You know, I remember 2001, 2002, got a lot of guys going to war, losing their lives. And it's, we lost so many soldiers, so much bad things, so many terroristic attacks happened on both ends. We went over there and raised some issues. Where was the one guy, I can't remember the name, but one of the soldiers took out an entire family, or not family, an entire community. He's like a sniper or something. He took out an entire community. He got sentenced to it for a long time. There were so many massacres. There was another massacre that happened. I forgot. It's like Tai Le Lu or something like that. That happened in World War, in the Vietnam War or World War II. But they went through an entire American soldiers. When the, they never talk about this stuff, y'all. Y'all got to look this stuff up about how the American soldiers went over there and wreaked havoc in these other countries. And we're supposed to be the good guys. Man, we destroyed a lot of stuff. A lot of people from Iraq said Iraq was better when Saddam Hussein was in power than what it is now. Because he was actually keeping stuff in control. They say it was weapons of mass destruction. We have not found any weapons of mass destruction. And come to find out, when the planes hit the towers, they were supposed to say it was from the guys from overseas, Middle East, that led us to be like, well, they supposed to have weapons of mass destruction. Like, well, I'm trying to think where the weapons of mass destruction came from. And if you look at the entire 9-11 situation, there's so many red flags and loopholes. First thing first, what happened with Building 7? Why did Building 7 collapse on its own without a plane hitting it? Why does every American dodge that question? Why does every news company dodge that question? 
Why is it these two towers made out of steel beams collapse in a free fall upon 10 seconds each? Each tower collapsed within 10 seconds. It took 10 seconds to collapse, like a controlled demolition. Why did that happen? Why is when two planes crashed, they said, oh, jet fuel heated up and one tower crashed into another one and they fell from the bottom. The tower fell from the bottom. So many people lost their lives that day. So, and then if you think about it, we wouldn't have the control we have now with TSA cameras. 9-11 helped bring in surveillance. 9-11 helped bring in Big Brother. 9-11 helped to where we, now we got a camera on every, 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 every corner now. Because they made it where, hey, to avoid terror attacks, we need to employ these type of situations, employ these type of um, contingency plans, you know? So 9-11 was the first one to bring in surveillance. COVID, that's a different story. I feel like COVID and 9-11 are brother and sister when it comes to bringing a new age, bringing it, because after 9-11, the world changed. After COVID, the world changed. How many years is that, 19 years? You know what I'm saying? So roughly 19 years, the world changed. You know, 2021 is when COVID officially hit. So 20 years. So 20 years is when it officially hit, you know? So, so much stuff has happened with 9-11, man. And then there's a painting. I want y'all to look this painting up. It's in Jeffrey Epstein's house. George Bush is throwing a plane at these two blocks. Why don't people talk about this stuff? What it is, is that people see the painting like, oh, it could be coincidence. And once you leave, what it is, the, the powers that be, tells us what's going on but they leave enough window for speculation like they'll put it in the simpsons oh that's right there in our faces but it's the simpsons oh here's a painting of george bush on a paper plant these towers oh it's just the towers there's so many instances of where the towers were talking about getting taken down was when michael jackson had an album called blood on the dance floor and if you look behind him where the two towers is the smoke biggie small said it's on blow up like the world trade don't get it twisted the world trade had a bombing situation but a couple years before that song released, but blow up like the World Trade? Come on. Now, I, I've talked to inside sources to a few guys who are part of a particular brotherhood, and they spoke to me and let me know that they knew about COVID in 2018. He said, COVID happened in 2020. We was doing our, our meetings once a month, and they was telling us something was coming in 2020. He said, some guys knew 10 years ahead. So they planned this stuff out. So I'm pretty sure 9-11 was planned out years in advance. Years in advance. That, hey, and then they have backup plans if it doesn't go through. So as I say 9-11 doesn't happen, they have a backup plan for it to get to the same destination. So 9-11 changed up a lot of stuff and it affected me really bad, man. It's, it's to the point where it's one of the most worst memories I ever had. You know what I'm saying? Looking back at that time, I wasn't there. I remember being a 12-year-old kid, afraid to come outside, afraid to see a plane, you know, um, watching wrestling that night. And all the rest were saying, we're going to go to war. And I was like, why does everybody got to go to war? That's one of the main reasons why it's hard to recruit now in the military. Because of that war happened. And the amount of lives we took makes no sense. And a lot of these wars be funded for corporations. A lot of these wars be so these people can make money. Wars is big money. Think about it. ammunition, tanks. Mili uh, most of our money goes to the military. I want everybody to look at the funding and how our tax money is spent. They spend 40 to 50% of the tax money on just the military, just military technology. So so much stuff going on, all this military stuff, all these wars and stuff going on. 9-11 was one of the reasons for it, man. And it changed a lot of lives. A lot of people lost their lives. A lot of the footage is taken away. A lot of different footage is shown on there. And it, hurts my, and it bothers me that we just take the bait as a society. Like they just tell us, these guys had the plane, it flew here, it did that. That's all we got to take. A lot of footage got taken away. A lot of people's phones and, and, and camera footage got taken away. I know the footage for when, when the Pentagon got hit, that happened. I know right before 9-11, there's a conspiracy that $2.3 trillion went missing and nobody could explain it. And the records that was holding the records for this was in the 9-11 or was in one of those buildings in 9-11, either Building 7 or one of the World Trade Center's um, buildings. So... And then they warned us in uh, numerous of cartoons, Samson's, uh, the Dagon. There's a lot of 9/11 stuff. They been playing 9/11 for so long, man. It was even in the Patriot movie. There was a, 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 a subliminal in the Patriot movie. Y'all can just go to your TikTok, type in 9/11 subliminals. It will bring up the video for you. You know, so I'm pretty sure y'all like to have a video made 
where I created. Y'all want me to make a comp compilation video of 9 11 stuff and just add it together for y'all just because you're lazy? Let's be honest. You're lazy. You don't want to look this stuff up. You don't want to search this stuff. You'd rather turn on YouTube and have your favorite content creator make it for yourself. I understand. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But if that's something you want, we can make that happen. You know what I'm saying? I understand being lazy. You know what I mean? I, I would never go in and edit a basketball video. I would much rather a YouTuber make an entire basketball compilation for me. I would never go back and look at all those games and plays and stuff. Never. You know what I'm saying? I like basketball, but nah, nah, that's not me. But um, most definitely, man, I really hate that so many people lost their lives in that. I really hate how we got to lie to us in America. I really dislike our government. I really dislike how they move. I really dislike them, man. I really think that this is a very, very messed up situation. 9-11, shouts out to people born out. I hate your birthdays getting consumed by this. But your birthday's today. Happy birthday to you. I really just hate how 9-11 changed everything. And it's not going to say 9-11 is the, the a big brother of COVID. Because the world changed to 9-11. The world changed to COVID. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all want to talk about if I missed anything out of this, out of this conversation. Uh, oh, watch Loose Change. They did the homework for you. Please go watch Loose Change. That's what what helped care to me to be in the coming of conspiracy theorists full time. Loose Change is a great movie. Please go watch it. You know what I'm saying? It's on, it's on YouTube. It's on, and if you can't find it, it's like Loose Change documentary. One of the best ones ever made. But, um... Yeah, man, I, that whole entire campaign was, was jacked up, you know. <laughs> Saddam, Osama, all that stuff. Look up Bill Cooper, too. He predicted this stuff, and his life got taken shortly afterwards. Bill Cooper. Look him up as well, man. Alex Jones predicted this as well, but I think Alex Jones is tied in. I don't think Alex Jones is really 100% safe. I think Alex Jones is tied in some way. I don't trust Alex Jones. But let me know what y'all got to say, man. This is my 9-11 blog, man. This day is very important to me. Let me know what y'all want to blog on next. It's the Bulldog McClain, Dwayne McClain TV. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe. I'm out. Bad boy, baby, recording.